Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Stacy's Art Studio and Gardens July 2021 tour of the Desert Cottage Garden out in the front. <laughs> Do you see how tall <laughs> the sunflowers are? In fact, they're, they're getting taller than what they should be, I think. <laughs> but it's really lovely to have this wall filled with little sunflowers. These aren't the monster big head sunflowers. These are just the little ones. But they're so pretty. And let's take a look on down here. Let's see our plum trees. So our plum trees did not produce this year. They did bloom. And of course they're young so that's not surprising. But we did get one tiny little plum. <laughs> so there's hope. And Molly is talking in the background. <laughs> so I think next year we should get some pretty good um, produce from the trees if, you know, if it all works out okay. And you can see the pampas grass here has shot some reeds up. Pretty soon they're going to be plumes on the top. And the other grasses are looking really good. And take a peek at our beautiful little red rose blooming lovely we have had so much rain so that has helped and if you'll look over here the russian sage is actually falling down from all of its blooms it's fallen over over here not much i can do about it <laughs> the lamb's ear has grown huge look how big it's gotten and our rose here is just growing really well. It's not blooming at the moment. It's actually pretty tricky to catch the blooming from the roses in the middle of summer because it's just so hot. They bloom fast and then they dry up really fast. My pear tree's doing really well and you know what's funny? I had found one pear. I knew about that pear but I didn't notice this one. So I've got two pears on this tree. So I'm really happy about that one. So the grass is still struggling here. I do have quite a bit of clover in it. So the clover's doing well and I just keep hoping it'll spread further. I will probably be adding some filler dirt in there so that'll encourage the clover a little bit more. Our desert willow tree is looking really good. Such beautiful blooms. Hummingbirds just love them. And then the seed pods have started to get nice and long. The lavender's doing well in under there. Like I said, we've had a really, really high heat, um, but a lot of rain. And so, really, their placement has worked out quite well because they have a little bit of shade from this desert willow tree. The Leland Cypress are both doing well. They're not shooting huge growth at the moment, but we do have some growth. You can see the difference here. See where it's brown? That's the old and then light green here. That's the new growth that's happening, which is lovely. It will eventually fill in this whole section here. And our roses are looking healthy. They were struggling just a bit um, but they're looking healthy now and again I don't have blooms to show you right now because they just come and go really quickly our rosemary bush has recovered and is huge and I need to do some harvesting off of it I'll tell you you, you just there's way too much rosemary than you'll ever use but they're a lovely lovely bush this rose is looking pretty good and healthy and so is this one and you can see some of the old blooms are just kind of hanging on there. Um, I didn't even have a chance to deadhead those so I'm going to have to come back and do that so it'll encourage more growth. The juniper tree is looking good and then this rose over here is looking really good and if you listen really closely but I don't think you'll be able to hear them. There are bees in there right now. There's not a huge amount, but there's a few back there. 
Oh, there's one. Maybe we can get up close. Mm. I love that because that's the whole reason I put these in. Um, for beauty, of course, and <laughs> for the beautiful bees that help us. So that's your basic upper desert cottage garden. Again, everything in here are all drought tolerant, including the fruit trees. Plum trees are pretty tough. And so I haven't had to do very much to it at all since we've had a bunch of rain, which is nice. And everything down below, same thing. Uh, the, little, the little miniature trees down there are struggling. They may not be in the right place. Everything is drought tolerant, but those two, I think I, I got ahead of myself and put those there. I think they'd be fine if they had a little more protection from the sun, but they don't. So they're still there. They're still, they're still working on it. So let's take a trip over to our side garden here. And you can see our, it's a sage, that red flowery bush is a sage. And I can't remember the name of it, but the hummingbirds really love it. As you can see, it has like a trumpet type uh, flower, so it's really fabulous for the hummingbirds. This rose is looking really healthy. I have a few weeds back there I need to get to. These Russian sage are looking nice and strong and healthy. This is their second year, so they're getting nice and big. And then uh, next year, they will probably spread like crazy. And our pampas grass has got the plumes on top. That's the best part. And then once that, right now it just looks like seeds, but they'll get fluffy. And uh, it looks really nice and healthy this year, so I'm really happy with it. And down below, and I've got a few, these little yellow flowers that seem to just grow everywhere. They're little wildflowers. I just leave them, because they're very cute. And then I have a forsythia bush right there. We'll see how it does. Looks like I've got some weeds down by the mailbox that I need to get to work on. Uh, that's the trouble with some rain. <laughs> Let's come out around this way and take a look at the front of the house from over here. I always find it interesting standing out here in the, in the road letting Molly yell at me. <laughs> The house is getting further and further from sight with everything growing up, but it sure looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> and then up over on the far left over here, well, before we get there, we have another desert willow tree growing. And that'll be nice shade soon. And then we've got another pampas grass there. Has not shot up some weeds yet, but it will. And then we have a few sunflowers that have survived. They've had a hard time there, but that's the beautiful thing about sunflowers, is they uh, survive. And then they also draw any kind of toxins out of the, out of the ground there. So I'm really happy with what I've got. Uh, next year I'll do more and hopefully pay closer attention to it as well. So there you go. That's the Desert Cottage Garden for July 2021. I hope you enjoyed your wandering with me. <laughs> Have a great day out there, guys.